bbadrenaline.com. Welcome back. An action-packed day. First day of official visits, but uh, we have a special guest and we have a young lady that was one of the more sought after recruits the last couple months, Chloe Meester from Iowa, just uh, announcing yesterday her decision to verbal to Louisville. Chloe, great to talk to you again. Good to talk to you too. So first of all, I you, you were telling me before you got to take a couple weeks away um, and, and relax a little bit, but what is the whole process before we talk about Louisville? What was it like since nationals um, when, when we talked last? Um, so since nationals, I've had, I think, three teams. And so I got to talk to them all again. And I got to talk to some of their players all again and like really get to know them. Um, it wasn't bad at all. It was really good, I thought, because it was like you're going to a place where you're most likely going to play with half of those players and you really like want to bond, like see friendships and all that stuff. So that was pretty good. So when we had talked before, you had said you might take visits. What was what was the decision to make your decision before official visits? Um, well, when I got down to two schools, it was kind of like, I don't know if I should take visits because I kind of need to focus on school ball. And so I was like, well, if I can like try and figure it out, which school I want to go to, then I'll just do it instead of trying to take a visit because like school ball's coming right around the corner. And that's like a big focus for me because I'm coming like a new leader on the court and I need to like have a lot of focus and get better at that instead of like worrying about other schools, I guess. Okay, awesome. Uh, great point. So in the end, it becomes Louisville. And mm -hmm. big question, why Why Louisville? Why did they win out in the end? Um, definitely the people there. Uh, when I talked to them, um, I talked to them on a Zoom, and they were so nice. They were so funny. I just literally loved them. Um, definitely, I love like everything about Louisville, like the campus and all that stuff. But the people definitely changed my mind about like it just like flipped a switch and I like kind of knew I was like, I want to go there. I want to be a part of the team. What were your thoughts like when when you sat down and co uh, talked with Coach Danny? What was your feel um, getting to know her? Um, At first, I was kind of nervous because I've like never talked to like a coach like I guess I don't know, like I just haven't really talked to coaches that much and I always get nervous when I do. But like when I talked to her, I was like not nervous at all. Like she made me not nervous and it was super like easy to talk to her. I felt like so. Well, and they have a little uh, Midwest pipeline for sure. And talk about uh, uh, an Iowa athlete, you know, Peyton Peterson. Um, did you talk with her at all being a fellow uh, from your state, from your area? Understand Did you talk with her at all throughout the process? Um, I didn't really talk to her, but we did like, we're kind of close, I guess. Like when I was at NTDP, I was like, I talked to her and I'd hang out with her and stuff. And she was, she's so sweet. She's a sweet human being and she's an amazing athlete too. And I just think like, we kind of like know each other and like, I know what she's been doing. She knows what I'm going through right now. And she kind of helped me a little bit with it too. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. It, and how about their recent success, the the success of the program? Did that play into it at all? Um, they've been on the top, on top or at the top for a few years now. They're a name everybody talks about. Um, yes, that was a little bit of it, but I'd say the hugest part was mostly the people, but definitely it's like their success has been a part of it too. So, so we, we followed around. I called it uh kind of jokingly the Meester watch uh, as I went to nationals and there was a crew of coaches that followed you everywhere. And then I got to go to NTDP for a couple of days and it was, you know, the same way you said it wasn't that bad, but does that weigh on you? Did you enjoy it? Does that, is it kind of, I always ask athlete, what, what's that like when you see coaches that, you know, are recruiting you and they're right there. What's it like dealing with that? I mean, they know how I play, like they've seen me before. So it's like, I don't have to show them like anything special or anything like that. Like they've seen me play. So if I like make a mistake, like it's okay. And it doesn't really stress me that much, I guess. Cause 
like I've said, like they know how I play. Like they've seen me so many times that it's like if I make one mistake or something like that, like they know it's okay. So, so we're gonna I'll watch some of your uh, highlights here as we uh, as we go along. But uh, talk about your game. Uh, to me, the word that pops up automatically is power. You play with as much power as maybe any outside hitter we've watched. Um, it's something you take quite a bit of pride in your power game and your heavy arm. Um, yes, definitely. That's one big part I feel like. And then another like big part of my game, I feel like I have is like a lot of like energy and I support a lot of my teammates too. Like that's a big part. I feel like also part of my game. So. And not, not depending on what the defense does, but if you have one choice to win a match, you get one swing, are you going, you'd rather go down the line or cross court? Um, I would probably go cross court. I feel like, um, well, earlier in the season, I would have chosen down the line, but I worked on my cross court and I just got in a little bit, like I've got way more comfortable with it. So I feel like I'd go cross court. Well, when I watched your film, I was like, I noticed just how many times you went down the line and that jumped out probably, you know, more so than I've seen from, uh, from mo most athletes. So I, but they tell me in college, it's good to have a variety of shots. Yes. You do kind of play my power game, which I absolutely love. Have you ever tipped or roll shot or do you just swing as hard as you can every time? Um, well, I swing almost all the time just cause like if you tip it or roll it over, it's like a free ball. And it's like, they're going to come back with a hard swing. And it's like in the open level, like that's what they're going to do. So I feel like if I swing most of the time, like it's just like something that might get them a little bit out of system or something like that. But if I do tip a roll, it's cause like my defense would tell me to tip a roll cause they're backwards. Cause they know I'm going to hit it. So then I'm just like, I roll it or I tip it over like the block or something like that. So they don't expect it.